And Catherine likes to pull the blind down when she's taking a shower because it helps keep some heat in the shower area. Or when I make her mad and she just wants to <laughs> shut me out. Welcome back to the Midnight Bride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And once again, we are here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas, but we are in a room with a view we have never had before. That's why we're doing this room tour. Which brings us to today's question. How important is the view to you in your hotel room here in Vegas? Is it super important? Does it not matter because you're not really going to be in the room? Leave us a comment down below, cause we want to know. We are in room 5679 in the Boulevard Tower. And I can tell you right off the bat, when you walk in, it's different from our Fountain View room. It's very similar to the, to the room that we had in the Chelsea Tower. And that being there's a L-shaped couch. In our usual rooms, the couch just sits, you know, right below that lady's rear end <laughs> against the wall there. And you also have a table and a chair, which you have in the other room, but the TV, which is a nice size TV, is on this wall. Whereas in our usual room, the TV is on this wall above kind of your mini bar area. And about the mini bar, we're not going to open it. That's what that cabinet is right here because it is super sensitive. So when you do check out, make sure if you touch that, that you check your bill to make sure you haven't been charged for anything that you did not take. And then you also have these dry goods up here. Also, again, do not touch those unless you want to pay for them because you're probably going to pay for them. That coffee maker is not included in the room. That's our personal coffee maker that we travel with, which has been really handy. Thank you, honey, for the demonstration. <laughs> and then you also have a, a tablet here that provides you with some controls here in the room. And then, of course, you have your ice bucket, all that accoutrement. <laughs> <laughs> That stuff is also not included, but then also under there, you have a couple of shelves and something you don't get in every hotel room is a little mini fridge to keep some stuff cool, which we are. And one of the other nice things about this layout is that you have a working desk behind the couch. Now in the other rooms we have, we have had you don't always have this, and we'll show you where it usually is, but it's much more comfortable and functional in this room layout. And as you walk through this little area, you have a full-length mirror here, and a full-length mirror there. And this one is actually a pocket door to close off the bathroom just like that <laughs> and then another thing we always point out in these rooms is this dressing bench in the middle of the floor this is helpful for sure but it's also a really good way to hurt yourself in the middle of the night if you're not quite sure of your surroundings yep thank you honey for the demonstration <laughs> And we should also mention, I don't think we mentioned before, but this is the one bedroom. And then you have this closet here, but you have a couple of luggage racks, some hangers. And if you need some extra hangers, you can always call down. They're happy to bring those to you. And then one of our favorite things are the robes they supply. We use those all the time. And then on the other side of the closet, you have a few more shelves. You have your safe, an iron, there is an ironing board too, and then a pair of slippers, 
that we always, always use and that you can take home. They are complimentary. And then we'll step here into the bathroom, which is actually a, actually like three pieces. You have a two sink vanity with lit mirrors and also a magnification mirror, which is also lit. And then uh, you have a couple of drawers here in the middle. The two handles you see on the side are not actual drawers, but that's also where your hair dryer can be found. And on this side, you have a separate closed off toilet, which you do not always get in a hotel room. See, there you go. But also you have that face there on the wall as always, which is kind of signature here at the Cosmo just to keep you company. And then when you swing around to the other side, you have the glassed in shower, which is all tiled. You know, you have a good height on the shower head and some shelves here to place your toiletries and hang your towels. But really our favorite feature of this room plan is the Japanese soaking tub. We use this every single day, at least once. And it also provides you with a window out to your view. And then another thing I always point out is there is a bit of a lip here up into the up into the shower just be careful and don't hit your foot on that when you're stepping into and out of the shower because uh you're probably going to do a lot of walking when you're in vegas and you don't want to do anything to hurt yourself and before we step into the bedroom there is a door that closes it off from the living area and of course there is a king size bed in the bedroom and we can tell you from experience it is really comfortable if it looks like there's uh, an excessive amount of pillows on the bed that's because there is and that's thanks to vegas best ideas providing one of their best ideas here at the cosmo and that usually the cosmo will provide you with feather pillows which aren't great at holding their shape, but you can call down and request foam pillows, which are much more comfortable, which is what we did. So shout out to Tamara and Gord from Vegas Best Ideas for providing that tip. And then you have a nightstand to either side. One of the nice things about the Cosmo is that they do provide some USB ports on the table side lamp and there are really a lot of outlets in this room. And then you also have built-in reading lamps and you also have some lighting controls right here next to the bed. So if you need to get up in the middle of the night, don't wanna go running around looking for light switches, they are right there beside the bed. And then across from the bed, you have another really nice sized TV. And this is this little ledge that you see here in this room is much more pronounced in the fountain view rooms. It kind of, it's like at an angle and that's where they have the chair and really the only desk in the room. It's kind of awkward to work at. And that's why we like having the desk over there in the living area. And then you also have an opening from the bedroom into the Japanese soaking tub. Right there. And you can also close this off. And Catherine likes to pull the blind down when she's taking a shower because it helps keep some heat in the shower area. Or when I make her mad and she just wants to <laughs> shut me out. But really the highlight of the Cosmo is the balcony. And this is the first time we have ever had this view We've always had the fountain view, whether it was from the Chelsea Tower or the Boulevard Tower. This time we are facing east toward Planet Hollywood. Can always see Paris. And if I swing the camera out here, you can see Resorts World. And if you swing the other way, you can really see all the way down the strip if you're will willing to lean out that far. Like down to MGM Grand, Tropicana, 
You can sit here and watch the planes take off and land if you want to. Still, the bonus of staying here is having your own balcony. It's definitely not the same view as having the fountain view. Now, one thing I will say from this side, because you are facing east, you are going to get the full morning sun. So if a sunrise is important to you, keep that in mind. If you're on the other side, which would be the south side facing this way, and you have a balcony, you're going to get the full brunt of sunlight for most of the day, which would be kind of brutal in the summertime. And then also out here on the balcony, they give you a chair with a little table and also a couch with a little table. And I can tell you, we spend a lot of time out here on the balcony when we have this room, um, usually in our robes and slippers after we've gotten out of the tub. But let us know after you've watched some of our other room tours, which view you would prefer. Would this view be okay with you just to have this room and have the balcony? And another thing we have noticed is that it's also louder out here on this side of the Cosmo than it is with the fountain view room. We always like to demonstrate how far away you actually are from the edge of the balcony because some people have issues with heights, but this is very safe. The balcony is very sturdy. You can see these rails are a full arm's length away from the actual glass and the edge. So there really is, unless you're being crazy, there's really no chance that you're going over. And that's gonna do it. We're gonna go out and enjoy Vegas. Or maybe not, we may just sit here and enjoy this room. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midnight Ride.